Welcome to Electron Online. There are different ways in which we can determine what the water content of the atmosphere is, and one of those is by measuring the relative humidity, which is something that's been done since 1948 using weather balloons. So going back far enough, we can get a pretty good idea of what the water content of the atmosphere was over years in the past, in past history. So we can look at the upper troposphere at a pressure of 300 millibars, which is about nine kilometers up, the middle troposphere at 600 millibars, about 4.2 kilometers up, and the lower troposphere at 1,000 millibars, which is not very high over the surface. And surprisingly, in all three cases, the relative humidity seems to have dropped since 1948 compared to 2016. So you can see that it started out at about 47% in 1948 and dropped kind of consistently till it hit about 37% in 2016. Now it's true that over the last 20 years or so there hasn't been much of a change in the, in the uh, relative humidity in the upper troposphere, but the drop was pretty big in the very beginning. Now that may have something to do with the fact that the 1930s, the 1940s, the temperature was pretty high over the uh, North American continent, which may have contributed to these measurements. But at least what we can see here is that there's not really any significant increase of any sort in the upper troposphere. The middle troposphere was similar to the upper troposphere, started at a much higher percentage at 48.5 and ended up at about 44%. But you can see that since the 1980s, there really hasn't been much of a change in the middle troposphere in the relative humidity. And in the lower troposphere, which is the most important layer of the troposphere, where most of the water vapor is found, you can see that there's been a very small amount of difference between 1948 and the more recent years in 2016. Put that on there. And notice there were some dips back in the 1970s and 1987. There were some dips in the, in the relative humidity, but all in all, not a lot of change since 1948. So we're spanning about 50, 60, 70 year period. You can see the lower troposphere has not seen any significant change either downward or upward, which means that there's been a pretty well consistency in the relative humidity of the troposphere. That way we can see that there's been a divergence between the temperatures as actually measured versus the temperatures as we can see in the temperature models. And so that's why there may be an indicator here as why that is so.